Another warm day in Tennessee. See, it's almost 10, in fact. <laughs> I see. Just a little bit of a fill. Even number God shall be happy with me. Old tank, ready to crank. Oh yeah. Just over the border in Middleborough, Kentucky, is a house made completely out of coal. <laughs> I think they said something like 26 tons of coal made this house in 1926. Now the Chamber of Commerce. But made totally out of coal. <laughs> the police are here to make sure nobody tries to set it ablaze. We got some nice coal stationing over here. Coal exhibit. Because this is one of Kentucky's most abundant national natural resources. If it is, why don't they use it as like heating? need it today. Yeah, you got those big old chunks. That's the other historical bits. Shoes, picks and augers, blast caps, and the blaster. Never seen anything like this guy. I don't even know what to say. Is that a chainsaw type of thing? 42 tons of coal, in fact, were made this house in 1926 although it's only two-thirds a coal house now because in 1988 this back half was blown off by a torn hurricane tornado well, whatever is most prominent over here lots of lots of that stuff lots of that stuff going all around in the tornado horses flying around Definitely a no smoking facility for sure. Don't don't even want to start the stove in there. <laughs> There's one thing I can't support about this place. 106.3, the big one. We all know what the best radio station is. 93.7, the crock. The best place for your coal listening needs. Hey, picking coal in a mine. Don't want to die because your mine collapses. Hey. Just put on a bright mind. 93.7 The Croc. The best in the West and every other junction. Because we the best music. Lots of different animals in here, but I'm looking for a specific animal. One that's not specifically a chicken. Or is that a turkey? He doesn't look to be very healthy. <laughs> this thing's pretty interesting. Imagine. This was an old curling iron. Bigfoot lives. Anatomy of a Bigfoot. Hoax. Oh, it better not be. I've been searching for too, for too long. What's that? Could it be? Bigfoot himself? Stuffed? And they sold him. To this group of gentlemen for over two hundred thousand dollars. Oh, because wow. they thought he was real. He was frozen. Mm. And bullet holes in him and blood and everything. Oh wow! Uh, they dug, uh, dug him up, and for two days he was frozen. They thought him out. Then they discovered that he was not real. Uh, the movie about the story, the Bigfoot hoax, they tripled what they paid for him. They are actual Bigfoot hunters. They travel different states in. Certain areas of the region, um, like Virginia, Tennessee, Kentucky, and around through there, where people have sighted Bigfoot. Hmm. Yeah, we had him up for display up here at the old Social Security building. And some kids, most of the kids were afraid of him. <laughs> this one little boy, he was holding on to the door face, and his daddy was going to take him in and get a picture. And he said, no, daddy, no. <laughs> Couldn't find his other foot. It was just one foot. Oh. <laughs> yeah, he used to smell. I can't smell him hardly anymore. He's about aired out where he was... Stuck with all them parts inside of it for oh, days. Is, is this guy now, new? The costume was dis had disappeared for about eight years. Oh, and wow. they had recently found it in one of the buildings here in Middlesbrough. That's the reason he's here. Hmm. He's seven foot seven. There's actually a female mannequin in here. comes to about this size. I think she's missing an arm. 
And then this is a wooden frame that builds up the rest of them. He's stuck with sales papers, newspapers, packing material, whatever we can find to wad up and stick in there. Cool. <clears throat> you know, there are holes in them where they shot him to make him look realistic. Here's one. We tried to fill it back in with a piece of fur. <clears throat> yeah, he did stink. When they first brought him in here, he was awful. <laughs> wow. Big foot. We've got four of these. We've got two of these and then two more slender ones, which is supposed to be female. Mm. And we've got a hair sample, but I'm not real sure where that's at. It's mixed in with a bunch of sticks. Okay. We just had it in this display. Mm. But anyway, they had a, they brought a bunch of their cameras and stuff and one busted camera that the lens had been completely smashed in. Mm -hmm. Supposedly Bigfoot had done that and so on and so forth. Second day in a row that I went to somewhere completely out of the blue and had like really interesting conversations. I come to this Bell County uh, History Museum and this guy's telling me his whole life story. Old guy, like he has a life story. Like he's 80 years old. I don't know how many hours I spent in there. Just that guy telling me his stories. Better I got a sticker. I have to slap that bad boy on. I legit look like one of those trolls. Thank y'all for watching. You don't have to. You could just keep on trucking with your life, but you decided to spend your time with me, and I, I appreciate it. And remember, stranger is just a friend you haven't met yet. I'll see you tomorrow.